Volume 3, Chapter 74, Memoirs of a Fighting Man. Dictation begins. Twas the eve of battle, I address my troops. When this battle goes down in history, it will be remembered as a bloody massacre. Fix your bayonets. Let them feel a touch of good old cold British steam. Best old man. Have a safe trip. That's Uncle Lance. He inherited a vast number of shares in a distillery and has been drinking its total output ever since. Hello, old uncle. My uncle, the Admiral, he would have been a great sailor. And he gets seasick even walking up the plank. <sighs> Uncle Angus. I just had my pipes on me. Oh, man, but I would play you the fine lament. Give me terrible hay fever. Well, uh, there we are, my lord. All done. Uh, may I compliment you on your choice of caskets? Best English oak, craftsman made, should last a lifetime. If he complains, you'll be the first to know. You know, your uncle didn't have a lot of friends, it looks like. No, he, uh, 
He kept himself very much to himself, especially after his dishonorable discharge from the army. What happened? Oh, he uh, broke through the lines of a German supply dump, blew up uh, three ammunition trains, six tanks, and uh, killed or wounded at least 350 Germans. Did he do that all by himself? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did they give him a medal or anything? No. It was uh, three months after the war ended. <clears throat> you shouldn't be smoking in here. Well, it's all right, as long as you're careful with your ashes. Are uh, all the Sinclairs buried here? No, only the dead ones. Now, will you stop fooling around? There's no time for jokes. I'm serious. I want to know all about the upper-class English way of death. Now, come on. Well, it varies from family to family. We Sinclairs, for example, all end up here. This is my space. It was reserved for me the day I was born. Well, you certainly have a nice view. You shouldn't make jokes here, Daniel. Oh, well. Come along. We'll have a drink with the Duke, and then I'll drive back to town. <laughs> We're just off, Brett. Roll was giving me a lift back to town. Nice to have seen you again, Onslow. Cousin Roland. Roland. Onslow. A pleasure. Excuse me, Your Lordship. Uh, I'm gonna. Why don't you go on inside and say goodbye? Huh? Well, I'll be just a moment. Right. Nice. I'm Kate. Kate Sinclair, Brett's cousin. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Dear Brett has been holding out on you. No, not really. Sinclair women are not important. The male line is all that matters. I see. What do you do, Kate? I write detective stories. Very good ones. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Randolph was murdered. And I'm very much afraid that the murderer must have read my second novel. The death scene was exactly the same. Danny. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is my uncle. His Grace, the Duke of Kent. How do you do, sir? Pleasure to meet you. How do you do? Uh, the annoying thing is when there's a death in the family, the line of succession changes. And all the records have to be altered, the genealogical charts. Good heavens. Come inside, Uncle. Danny, that way, the shrubbery. No, 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 I'm perfectly all right, I tell you. Please stop fussing. But it was a very near thing. Well, my own Port Myers State manager has been telling me for years that, that that balustrade needed attention. You think it was an accident? Well, of course it was an accident. What else could it be? Uh, you're, you know, you're, you're not suggesting that someone pushed it, are you? Kate, uh, okay, my dear, you, you, you get me a brandy, would you? That's a good girl. Certainly. I could do with one of those, too. I'm going to look for Daniel. Uncle Lance, where have you been? I've been wandering around the grounds, old boy. I say, what happened out there? It fell. Nasty. Could have killed somebody. Oh, thank you, my dear. Cheers. I'll go and look for Daniel. I'll come with you. There you are, Uncle Lance. Do save some for the Duke.
at least his life. My God, he's got a lump the size of an egg on his head. I bet the first thing he says is, where am I? Come on. No, it'll be what happened. Danny, who hit me? Oh, we're both wrong. Come on, on your feet. Oh. Here. Did you see anything? <clears throat> no, I didn't see anything. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. At least we're on the right track. Yeah, right. Let's take a look around. OK. Can you walk? Yeah, yeah. I... Come on, come follow me. There are going to be more deaths in the family. You can count on it. <laughs> Kate, you're letting your imagination run away with you. You have written far too many crime stories. No, wait a minute, friends. First Sir Randolph, then the Admiral, and that big flower pot could have been two more. Mm. The arm of coincidence may be long, but not that long. All right, all right. But what is the motive? Plot of a book I once wrote. Distant relative of a titled family kills off everyone between him and the title. Finally inherits Duke's lands and fortune. How's that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I am next in line, so first they'd have to kill the Duke, and then... <laughs> right. He just got it. No. Well, you must admit it's a possibility, Brett. No. No, it couldn't be. Well, well take the people who were the funeral today. Uh, Roland. Roland is um, seventh in line. Seventh in line, so he'd have to kill seven people before he got to the title. He'd have to kill five, so Randolph and the Admiral are dead. I'm a liar for two. Onslow would have to kill four, and Lance would only have to knock off three. Right. Now, just a moment. My memory not being what it used to be, I will refer to Burks again. Here we are. Take uh, third cousin Winslow, for instance. He is 137th in line, so he would have to kill 137 people before he got to the title. Oh, well, suppose he's an ambitious kid. Ambition? <laughs> Wouldn't be ambition, that would be war. No, there has to be another explanation. Oh, uh, God, it's here. here. Here, kid. Have it your way. <laughs> We're going out for dinner. You like Chinese? He hates Chinese. Oh, you don't want to come along for Chinese dinner tonight, do you? You, you make the invitation sound almost irresistible. I think I'll skip it. I thought so. Waterloo, your car or mine? Mine. It's got an injector seat. The Duke? Me? Sir Angus? Sir Randolph? Admiral, Lance, Onslow. My baby left me, never said her mama left one. No, 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 she never did now. My baby left me, whoa, never said her mama left one. Onslow, it's Brett. Sorry to worry you, but uh, when you and Rodan left the Duke after the funeral, were you together all the time? Yes, uh, Rollo gave me a lift home. You were never out of one another's sight? No, not for a moment. He, we didn't separate till he uh, dropped me off here. Oh, sorry, no, 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 no nothing important. Yes, sir, uh, see you. Bye. Thank you. Mm. 
You've had six Pekingese duck dinners. <laughs> Do you always eat this much? Only when I'm happy. Oh. Well, then you must be very happy, hysterically happy. Mm. Do you have any idea who pushed down that urn? Not really. Do you? Those two guys that left early. Onslow and Roland. Right. Mm hmm Now, they left together. Mm hmm But they could have split up, and one of them could have gone back. Hmm, possible. It's easy enough to check up on. Oh. I mean, if they both said they were together all the time, then they're both in the clear. Right. Mm hmm Where do we find them? Hmm, that's easy enough. Onslow lives just round the corner. We could drop in on him. Mm -hmm. Later. That's it, the basement of the White Belly. You wait here. Shall I come with you? Oh, wait. Let's go find out. Thank you. I, I think Onslow would have liked it. <laughs> no offense, Your Lordship, but it pays to be prepared. Make that two pairs of hands. Daniel, he is not a tailor. Well, a pattern seems to be emerging, I think. Hmm? The Duke's in the clear, right? Yes. You're OK? Yes. What's his name? Uh, Sir Angus. Well, Sir Angus must be OK, because there's no point knocking off anyone below him in the line of succession, right? So that makes these one, two, three, four potential victims. You're such a great comfort, Kate. Right, and three, one, two, three, dead. Which means one of these is the murderer. Oh, we have a fairly wide choice. One murderer and the rest of us become, as Kate so quaintly puts it, potential victims. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to sit around and let the undertaker get rich? Well, there doesn't seem to be much else we can do. 
We're going to go into the private bodyguard business. Each one of us is going to take a member of the family, and we're going to stick to him like glue. That's a marvelous idea. Nobody would dare do anything with all of us watching so closely. Mm. All right, here. You take Sir Angus. I'm going to take Lance, and you take Roland. Great. What's the matter? Don't you like the idea? Well, guarding a, a likely victim is one thing. But you could be moving in with a murderer. Mm. You can't be serious. I mean, why should anyone want to murder me? To eliminate you from the line of inheritance. What is this? It's a Zulu Warriors Club. But do you honestly believe that someone would kill me just to get a title? Frankly, yes. But it's not just the title. It's the family fortune. The lands and estates. The houses and everything in them. It must amount to millions. Yeah, I see. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose it is quite possible. Oh, no, do please be careful. It's very Ooh. fragile. This is sling, isn't it? Yes. It's quite possibly the one that David killed Goliath with. Oh. I didn't know that you were so interested in this sort of thing, Roland. It all started when I went to Australia. You know, the Aborigines use weapons which haven't changed since the Stone Age. Since then, I've become quite an expert on primitive weapons. No, no do please be careful. That's... It's a South American blow dart, that tipped with poison. Oh. I mean, the tiniest scratch from this, and you could be dead within seconds. Oh. Well, I'd better go up and unpack. Right, right. Uh, your room is at the top of the stairs. Fine. Tell me, who else in the family is getting the bodyguard treatment? Brett is watching Uncle Angus, <laughs> but it's Danny I feel sorry for. He's stuck with Uncle Lance. Uncle Lance? Uncle Lance. This place is uh, built like a fort. Oh, safe as ours in here, old boy. Relax, relax. Have a drink. Try this. I made it myself. I'd like your opinion. Nice color. What do you think? Mmm. Certainly has something. Could um, use a little more body to it, maybe, but it's really a nice wine. That's what I do. Drink. Oh. <laughs> oh only in the course of duty. Yeah, right. <laughs> what I meant to say was, I make wine. Oh, good for you. I've spent my life, you know, trying to create the great, the magnificent, the Truly perfect wine. So far, I failed. You want to try uh, grapes? Mm. But I think I'm near a breakthrough. Come and see, come and see, come and see. I've got a batch fermenting here that promises well. You're not going to drink that. Oh, not immediately, of course. No, no, this has got to mellow, to age. Oh, no, I shan't be touching a drop of that until tomorrow night. <laughs> um, I think we'd better check the security regulation. Now, let me ask you, can we stay down here tonight? What a splendid idea. Let's drink to it. Now, wait a minute. We're trying to protect you, keep you alive. we got to cool it with the wine, with the drinking. Right? Absolutely right. Just the one bottle. One bottle. OK. I think your pipes just died, Uncle Angus. It's a fine, stirring sound. You know I play the pipes every day in life. But now we must go inside and have our supper. I've got a special treat for you tonight. Scotland's greatest delicacy, the haggis. <laughs> and uh, when we're finished, uh, I will be playing you a beautiful selection of Highland Lament. <sighs> Thank you. 
More coffee. Mm. Coffee. Oh, yes, thank you. As I was saying, I've made a deep study of the drugs and poisons used by primitive people. You know, long before Western man discovered them, they made not only poisons, but medicines, salves, painkillers, tonics, sleeping draughts. Mm. Mm, that's very interesting, Roland. Well, drink your coffee while it's hot. Mm. I feel so... I'm tired. I feel so tired. This one, if I can find it. Lobster's meal. It's my sister. Okay. Yes, thank you. May I uh, take the tray? Oh, why don't you take the tray? It's awfully heavy. Yes, of course. Oh, my God, it's chilly in here. Lance, dear, I brought you and your friend a little light refreshment. Some of that spare, those nice Americans left up. Oh, thank you, Agatha. <laughs> Yes, there oh, we are. Oh, it's uh, very beautiful. Thank you very, very much. Oh, it's uh, half past ten, precisely. Jeff was a post. Uh, Lady Agatha, uh, Danny Wilde. Uh, how do you do? Oh. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. There's a very strong family resemblance. I beg your pardon? There's a strong family resemblance. Well, I wouldn't know, would I? I've never met anybody else in your family. Well, I don't mean my family. I mean your family, Brett. Brett, your nephew, well... Oh, it's the same in our family, you know, isn't it, Lance, dear? They say our nephew, Brett, bears a strong resemblance to me. Oh, <laughs> dear well, boy. thanks uh, for the supper. I told you it's half past ten. It hasn't really changed since then. <laughs> oh, Lance! Lance, I nearly forgot. Is there anybody you know called Danny Wilde? That's me. Well, why didn't you say so before? You must speak up, laddie. Uh, There's a telephone call for you in the library. Thanks. In the library. Now, follow me. Yes. Uh, uh, you stay here. I'm going to lock the door. Drink your tea before it gets cold now, yes. Lance. Here's Watch yourself, Lance. Here somewhere. I know here somewhere. Oh, that was a bad idea. Hmm. Hello? Danny. Roland's on the loose. He tried to drug me. Is everything all right with you? Yes, everything's fine. I am sure that Roland is our man. I tried to follow him, but he fixed the car, so I'll have to call a cab. You ring Brett and warn him. Okay. Bye. Oh, oh, you're a beautiful creature, or not it? Ah. Uh, oh, possibly, possibly. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, you killed Uncle Arthur. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> that's the fellow. Oh, back a bit, back a bit, will you? Hey, oh, what are you doing? Hey, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eureka! 
said that wine needed a little more body in it. Poor Uncle Lance. Yeah, went down gurgling. You know, I am convinced that it's Roland. What makes you so sure? Well, everything points to Roland except for one thing. What's that? You remember the day of the first funeral? Right. Well, Roland and Onslow were supposed to have driven off together, right? Mm -hmm. If that is true, how could Roland have pushed that urn off the balcony or murdered the Admiral? Well, suppose they didn't drive off together. Suppose they went off separately and one of them came back and pushed the urn down. Uh-uh. Brett asked Onslow and he said they did drive off together. Well, now, wait a minute. Onslow could be lying. Roland could have told him some kind of story that convinced uh, Onslow. After all, Onslow ain't a brainchild, you know. His car's back. Here. I can't change that, Keep sir. That's a blowgun. something when I... Kate, I know you won't let me out of your sight, so I had to give you a mild sedative. I think I know who the murderer is, but I won't risk your life taking you with me. Roll it. Oh, no. Things are going, Mr. B, but it might be more economic if you were to work in a branch office here. I could give you a discount for quantity. It's exceedingly generous, but I trust the boom is over. I understand. We have to take the good with the bad, my lord. Well, it uh, hardly seems worth bleeding. Yeah, right. Well, never say die, you know. You have a marvelous way with the phrase, don't you? Why don't you go on a holiday? It's an original way of sending a present. I suppose it is for me. Well... Get in the car, George. Oof, they're probably Havana's. Vanners. Well, that convinces me of one thing. What's that? I'm next on the list. You're right. Uh, George. Who's that out there? Relax, Brett. Angus is safe in that fortress. Don't worry.
Oh, Daniel, I never thought I'd be glad to hear that sound again. Away you go! I'm not letting anybody in! I'm not letting anybody in here. Uncle Angus, it's Brett. I'm here with my friend Danny Wilde. If you are really Brett, you know what we had for supper the other night. Haggis, followed by four and a half hours of pipe music. Oh, man, you really are Brett. Wait, you and I'll let you in. Thank you. Well, if the rest of them had been as cautious as he is, they'd be alive today. What have you got there? Those are bolts. Uncle Angus! Uncle Angus, don't touch the gates! Don't! Poor Uncle Angus. Meanest man I ever met. Must have been worth millions. Imagine, all that money and he died flat. Well, as someone once said, to uh, lose a relative is misfortune. To lose two is carelessness. Oscar Wilde. Uh, thank you, but I have lost six, which is absolute downright negligence. Why, what's your plan? Simple. What? Well, first of all, I make sure that my life insurance is paid up. Okay. Then I... Um... Go ahead. Hmm? Oh, that's as far as I've gone. Right. Then we're going to do it my way. Which is? One of these guys is the murderer. All we have to do is flush him out, right? But how do we do that? We're going to have Brett move him with the Duke. That way we have the two victims. <laughs> I'm not going to like uh, this. And then we set him up as a mark, right? As an easy target. Well, I'm definitely not going to like this. And when they go after you, we're ready and able. And <laughs> I hope. Come on, you want a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Howdy. Is everything okay? Yeah, so far. It's quiet as a grave out there. Yeah, I wish I could say the same here. Who are you? frighten the life out of me with that mask. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? Well, I'm going back out. I think I'll come with you. I hate waiting about. And how do you think I feel? No, I told you not to worry. With me around, what could happen? <gasps> well See done. You. See you later. Thank you. you sure he's a friend of yours? Shouldn't we stay near the house? Mm -mm. Those two make an awfully good target in that lighted room. That's the point. We've taken the proper precautions, though. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we didn't want to tell you. I've been thinking a lot about the family, particularly about your cousin, Wiggum Stanton. What about him? He's 14th in line for the title. Well, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if he was at the back of all this. Cousin Wiggum? <laughs> he must be joking. He wouldn't say boo to a goose. Well, he doesn't hunt or shoot. He never goes with women and spends six months of the year in a monastery. Well, exactly. How can you trust a fellow like that? Snoring way on the chair, and then... <laughs> I think that light's on in that crypt. Well, let's not investigate, shall come we? On, come on. Stay close and keep quiet.
It's Roland's blood. It's Roland's blood. Why? It's, it's happened. Seem surprised. After all, it was you who found me dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, you looked dead. I mean, nothing was moving. How'd you do that? A drug. It slows down the heartbeat, very shallow respiration. A near close medical examination would reveal life. So you bribed the doctor to sign a death certificate? Exactly. And the undertaker. Unfortunately, he got greedy. He wanted to blackmail me. Only two more. And the title's yours, Roland. Mm -hmm. There'll be four more. He's got to get rid of you and me. And there's no time like the present. Daddy! Oh. We must give our priorities, right? The Duke and Brett first, and up and in a way, you're already taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> Time is overdue. He said he'd check in every 15 minutes. I think the time has come to take up our places. Yeah. Why didn't that first barrel go off? I forgot to reload it. I'm glad. What did he mean when he said we are taken care of? I don't know what he was talking about. We're not going to get out of here with this pen knife, I'll tell you that. You know, I had a character in one of my books who was in exactly the same situation. Oh, yeah? What happened to him? Well, he burned through the metal yeah. with sulfuric acid. Right. Well, where did he get the sulfuric acid? He had it in a fountain pen, specially designed, that he always carried with him. Where did he keep his ink? Oh. Come here with me. What's come into my office. Just come over here. That's Uncle Percival. Sit down. Sit down. Give me a hand. What for? Just give me a hand. Yeah. What's that? Can you see anything? I'm not sure. I thought I saw somebody moving. I hope you know what you're doing. Gunpowder from the cartridge. Smart. Do you think this fuse is long enough? Yeah, it's long enough. Come okay. on. Pour it into the lock. Right. Do you think this will work? I saw Gary Cooper do this once in the movies. It was called The Lives of the Bengal Lancers. Oh, yeah, it's a bit before my time. There. Oh. Well, did he get out? Uh, they gave him a medal <laughs> after he was dead. Just plug up these holes for you, can
It'll never suit you, Roland. It's all I've ever wanted. Even as a child, it's all I've ever wanted. You're dead. How are you going to claim the title? Let me see him. I was going to disappear for a while. Then apparently arrived from Australia. And say the man who was murdered wasn't you at all, but an imposter. Yes. It'll work. I know it'll work. They'll exhume the body. There'll be no coffin. No crypt even. There are 12 sticks of gelling night down there on the time fuse. That'll take care of everything, including Kate and that interfering friend of yours. Well, Watch him up. Get your right to stop it now! We got nothing to worry about. When Brett sets that trap for Roland, we'll have nothing to worry about. Well, what if that trap doesn't work? Then we've got something to worry about. Daniel! Uh, hey! You got the key? No, you have to get out of here. What? Well, I don't know where it is. All I know is this. It's going off any second. What? Well, a time bomb down here. What? We got something to worry about. Oh, oh, you take this side. Yeah, I'll right. the other. Okay. okay. It's not in there. If I... If I tried to leave, I mean, would you... Would you really shoot me? Kill a blood relative? Being related didn't slow you down. Why should it me? I don't think you would, you know. Yes, I wouldn't try, my boy. It's no good. I can't shift it. the wind. Well, tell you we had nothing to worry about. Uh. a bit old for blind dates. That's what you call them, isn't it? Mm. Oh, just remember one thing, sir. You are a Sinclair. <laughs> Aunt Sophie is a lovely, lovely person. You're going to like her, believe me. I'll, uh, I'll show her in. Wait, a buttonhole. Uh, but, but, but what do I talk to her about? I mean, what are her interests? Does she ride to hounds? No, no. They don't have riding the hounds in the Bronx, but they have other things that you'll have in common, believe me. Everybody's dying to meet you, Mrs. Oh. Schwartz. Hello. <laughs> 